Hi, welcome to Your Business, Your Rules. I'm Kat LeBlanc. This is the podcast for people who want to start and grow an online location independent business so they can live a life of freedom and choice on their own terms. Welcome to Your Business, Your Rules, episode 47. Letting go to move forward, how to believe in yourself. Mindset is a massive piece of success. And we all know this, even if we may resist it to a certain extent. I know I did in the beginning. I talked in episode 33, Why You Must Surround Yourself with Successful People, about how our environment affects our beliefs, which then affects our decisions, which affects our results. But how do we learn to believe in ourselves regardless of our environment or the people around us? The thing about beliefs is we believe they're true, even though we may know many people who believe the complete opposite of what we believe. This is part of being human and is why we can get into such intense debates about politics, religion, sports or anything else really. We know intellectually that other people are 100% sure we're wrong, yet we are 100% sure we're right and they're wrong. This goes for beliefs about ourselves and beliefs about the world. How is it then that we're so sure about our beliefs? This is because we have three inbuilt ways that our brains keep confirming to us that we're right, even if there's a possibility that a belief isn't right or even worse, isn't helpful for us. One, our brains filter out what is considered irrelevant before we even get the raw data. We just don't receive every single piece of information that hits our eyeballs or any of our other sensory mechanisms. Our brain just automatically filters out most of what comes in. And this happens purely out of necessity. Researchers at the University of California worked out that every day people are receiving the equivalent of about 34 gigs of information. And that's enough to overwhelm a pretty powerful computer. Imagine if you noticed every blade of grass on a car drive or heard every conversation that hit your ears when you walked through a crowded street. You'd be consumed to the point that your brain wouldn't be able to cope with anything else. So to deal with this problem, your brain only notices relevant data. And we're going to get to why this is important for changing your mindset in just a minute. When I studied this idea that your brain only notices relevant data at university, we called this relevant data CAPTA. And what this means in reality is raw data that is deemed irrelevant doesn't even enter your conscious awareness at all. That is why if you have zero interest in a certain type of car, you probably never see it on the road. Whereas if you suddenly become interested in that car, you'll start to see them everywhere. Your brain now deems that information relevant and it gets through the filter and actually gets into your awareness. You're doing this with your beliefs about yourself too. You will be filtering out anything that isn't relevant and isn't relevant includes isn't true, meaning information that doesn't conform to your beliefs. Okay, now on to point number two while we're so sure about our beliefs. We also have confirmation bias, which means we give data coming in the meaning to confirm our beliefs. Because think about it this way, ultimately events are neutral, they are circumstances. We decide what they mean and we give events the meaning that most fits our beliefs. If, for example, you strongly believe that men don't want to commit, If you went on a date and the guy didn't call you within a certain time frame, you are going to make it mean that he isn't interested in committing out of all of the possible meanings you could give this turn of events. If you believe you won't be successful in your online business, you will give the setbacks that inevitably come the meaning that you're not going to be successful. If, on the other hand, you believe that every journey worth taking has some setbacks, you would expect those setbacks and make the situation mean you're on the right path and the journey is worth taking. 
This is why people experience different circumstances and come away with a different opinion or experience of them. The third reason why we continue to believe our beliefs and why we then need to find a special way to break out of them. We naturally gravitate towards people and situations that confirm our beliefs. If you think about this, it makes sense, right? We like to be comfortable and we don't want to be confronted in everyday life. We want to be with people and in situations that feel in alignment with who we are as people, meaning in alignment with what we believe. We congregate in groups based around our interests and this confirms our beliefs even more. We kind of become a broken record stuck in the same belief groove. So how then, if this process is so self-reinforcing, do you let go of old unhelpful beliefs and behaviours to move forward? How do you get out of the groove, sorry Madonna, or rut that you're in and actually move the needle? There are several ways you can do this, and I'm going to explain the most practical way of doing this in this episode and talk about other ways that are just as effective next time. In order to make any progress on your mindset, this is what you need. You need mental flexibility. And what that means is ultimately three things. You need to first believe that you can change and grow. Carol Dweck refers to this as a growth mindset. You then need to be willing to try on some different beliefs about yourself or the situation that you're having difficulty with. Because let's face it, the ones that you have aren't working. If the problematic belief was about men and commitment, you could try on the belief not all men don't want to commit. Or in the positive, some men want a committed relationship. If the belief you wanted to change was I won't be successful with an online business, you could try on setbacks are normal. I'm just as smart as anyone else running an online business. I can do this if I stay the course. When I say try it on, I mean hold the possibility that this could be true. Then third, be willing to take some action to test out your new belief. And objectively as you can, look at what happened. Does the outcome actually line up with your new belief? And what you're trying to do here is see if you can find some evidence that this new belief that you're trying on could be true. To get what we want out of life, we have to step up and play a bigger game. And that means we need to let go of some things and take a leap or at the very least a step into unknown territory. Very often the thing that's holding us back is ourselves and what we've decided to believe about ourselves. If you get that nagging feeling that something's not quite right or something has to change, don't ignore it. Listen to it and decide to do something about it. Whether you want to become a full-time coach or consultant, a designer, or take the leap into entrepreneurship, there will be some things that you have to give up. Comfortable things like a regular paycheck, coasting at work when you're hungover or not really feeling it, or other aspects of security or regular routine that you may be accustomed to. But this is all part of becoming something bigger and greater than you already are. If you check out the show notes, you can see a picture of me in 2010. I left a well-paid, secure job in Germany to go traveling around Canada and the States with my friend Kathy before I moved to Australia. And that's a picture of me on that trip. I had no idea how things would work out on the other side of the world. I just knew that somehow I would make it work. Several of my closest friends took me aside and asked if I really wanted to risk everything I'd already built but I knew in my heart I had to do it. And there will be times for you as well where you really have no idea what's waiting for you in the future. But this is when you need to really believe in your ability to grow and work on your mindset because you really can handle any situation that comes your way. And the most exciting and fulfilling path is to take the leap to work on your mindset, work on your beliefs, and go for what you really want in life. I hope that was helpful, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. 
Thanks for listening to Your Business, Your Rules. I'm Kat LeBlanc. If you like this show, I'd love you to subscribe, share, and leave a review on iTunes. And if you'd like to continue the conversation, head over to my website at catleblanc.com. Until next time.